Tommy, when you're first away, when you're first at home, can't ask much more than that. No, nope, um, yeah, I mean that was the, that was the plan. You know, we we're delighted to get it off to a, a great start at Bradford against a rugged and, and tough side, um, then to come home and win in front of your fans for the for the first time this season as well. Um, it's, yeah, really pleased to chase mate and look it, but I am very very pleased. Conditions obviously dictated what happened yeah. later, but it was a, a great start and a dominant start. Yeah, I mean, I think we've we've done that quite a lot throughout pre-season. We've made it a theme, trying to get out the traps early and impart our will on the opposition. And uh, it was a great, great move and a well-worked goal, uh, which I was delighted about. And sometimes people say you do, you can score too early, and sometimes you can. But but I, I just wanted us to go on, and it never never quite clicked to the end of the moves where we managed to get more goals. I thought we were more goals better than just two today. Well, certainly had it not been for their keeper, it would have been first half. Yeah, like I said, I mean, their goalie's had a great day. Um, I think we've been a little bit profligate in front of goal, you know, and, and that's not just strikers, that's anybody. Where We've had really good chances, really good entries into the box, where that second or third to last pass just hasn't been correct, so then the finish hasn't been clean. When it was, and Theo scores the second goal, everything about that was great. Great run, great set, great finish. So, yeah, we got it right at least twice today, perfectly right, but um, I think we're just about out of a walk into a jog now, but I think there's more to come. Theo certainly deserved that, I mean he was so unlucky first half. Yeah, I mean he's got that, he's got that in his bag, he hit a great great strike uh, in the first half, I thought it was in, he had, had to keep a beat I think, but nearly bust the crossbar. But um, I had a little go at him at half time, so I didn't think he got on the ball enough. Um, and he did second half, and he's stuck it right up me, hasn't he, to be fair, to go and score a goal. So that's, that's good, good reaction to, a, to something from the manager, um, and that's what I want from all players. I want players to, whether they start or whether they don't start, they have to have a positive effect on the game, and, and, and he did have much more of a positive effect in the second half. And, and another clean sheet. Yeah, I mean, you know, good sides are built on clean sheets and, you know, touch wood. We haven't, we haven't let, let many in at all throughout pre-season. Uh, and the ones we have have been really identifiable in terms of one, two or three mistakes on the way in. So, um, yeah, it's something that we pride ourselves on and we, we work hard at. And uh, if you ask the goalie and, and the, and the back lads particularly, but the whole side, they know if, if we don't concede a goal, we're obviously not going to lose a game. There was one change. Right, in, well, at the interval, or was that yeah. Jonah going off? Was that? Uh, yeah, I mean, he was a little dizzy. People probably didn't realise he, he put in a hell of a lot of work in the first half. Uh, Jonah did up and down, and he would grip all in for the goal. So he'd, he'd done his bit, in, in my opinion. And I thought, you know, Cameron only played 55 minutes last last week, and he's one of the fittest guys in the in the group. So I knew we'd need legs and energy up and down the side sides of the pitch in the second half, and it was just a tactical switch. Like I said, he did feel a little bit dizzy the, with the weather and what have you, but uh, he's done nothing wrong, and you know he's likely to be involved again on, on Tuesday, I hope. But it's, I mean, you, you, you always wish for a good start in a campaign, and, and now you've certainly set the foundation. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's important that you have a good start if you want, if you have any ambition to, to do well. You, you, the people who get off, off the blocks have got a head start, so I, I haven't looked at the results yet. I don't particularly do that much until Monday, um, but I know we've got two wins in the column, so I'm not bothered what anybody else has done. I know you're critical and we could hear you as well during the game. Any negatives as far as you're concerned? Well, that, the fact that I have to be critical is a negative, but that's my negative. At the end of the day, my standards, since the day I walked in, are higher than anybody's at this football club because of the fact that my experience and my know-how of it is better. And, 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 and that might sound big-headed or arrogant or whatever, but I believe in my methods and I believe that if people, people slack off and become used to being okay with just winning, then I, that, they'll not be part of my group. I want them to win and then win convincingly when they can. And I thought we could have done that today, so that was why I was a little frustrated. But I understand look, the, the heat and the, the temperature for both sets of lads. They, they all deserve credit for putting out a good, a good football match, to be honest. But I, but I never gave up. I wouldn't expect them to and where they come from. Um, but it'll be a long old trip for them back home with nothing, nothing to show for it, unfortunately, for them. You certainly can't moan about uh, wins, but uh, you, you, do you think you could have done better sometimes with, with the final ball when you had the opportunity? Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's the, that's the icing on the cake, or it's the cherry on top of the icing on the cake, isn't it, the goals? But you still only get three points for winning. So from that point of view, we've taken maximum points out of the two games. It's a very quick turnaround, and it, it, I don't know what the forecast is for the, for the coming week, but um, hopefully it's not as, as stifling as it is today. But uh, I love a game under the lights here at the walks. I hope people are starting to realise we're winning games again here and uh, come out in their numbers because Brackley will be a good side. They, they missed out very, very close last year in the, in the semi. So from that point of view, um, I expect a really good game.
because when you do start well and you want to continue that momentum a million percent yeah I mean at the end of the day I go into every game hoping that we can win it if we if we can't win it we try not to lose it but I felt that both the games that we've played so far were winnable having looked at the opposition briefly in terms of they haven't played many games this season in the Everybody's full of trialists in the pre-season games, but we knew we knew what we were facing, and we will do it against Brackley. And like I said, they'll be a tougher nut to crack without a doubt. Another well, great shift from Jordan. You gave Ben some minutes as well, mm -hmm. and that's going to be key. Yeah, it's it's important. I think. I mean, with the well, we've got six games, four left in August, so um, two and three days, and at the end of it, or two and two days really, at the end of the month. So the more I can get minutes into people's legs in the matches is, is, is going to be beneficial to us all because I want all of my subs to have real positive effects when they go under the pitch. Um, yeah, so we can do all the training in the world for the lads who don't start games, but there's nothing like getting minutes in the matches into you. And I'm pleased for Ben's in and, and Josh, Josh, Josh needs him as well. He's missed more pre-season than anybody. So uh, it's important that when they get the opportunity, they really stick it to me and say, look, I should be in the start 11 and not, the, not on your bench. Still looking to add numbers? I'll always look, I'll always look. We always turn over stones that we possibly might make another thought of last week, but we do this week because of a health or a, of one of our own. Um, but at this moment in time, I see Kyle McFadden not a million miles away, touch wood. Hope he doesn't have any setbacks, but he should be kicking balls very, very soon. That'll be like a new signing for us. Um, we are, we will be announcing one Monday, I would have thought. Um, but he's a young stats, a future one, but it gives us cover down the left hand side at the moment. Um, and I've got one or two coming in to train this week, which I'll be having a look at and making decisions on fairly quickly. So the answer to your question, you can ask me every week, I always will bring in somebody who's better than what we've got. And then that person who's in the slot comes out of it, then it's up to him to react in the right way uh, and try and win his place back. And just finally looking at to Tuesday, 800 odd here today. That'd be great to break it. A thousand during the week and, and get more well, in, more noise. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many Bly supporters we have, but fair play to them. I mean, it's a hell of a slap to come to come down here and in the weather as well. But Brackley's not so far, so I'd like to think they'll bring a few, which hopefully will push the numbers up to over four figures. But um, I want Kings Lynn four figures. You know, if there are ten Bly Spartans, we should have 1,100, 1,200 here because we're, we're giving you winning football. That's what you want. Just backtrack to Jordan Ponticelli. Yeah. Do you think he's probably the, the the one that goal needed last season? I don't know. You got eleven goals last season. Goal. <laughs> so he did. I know what you mean. I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah. I mean, he, listen. He's an he's a workaholic. He's a, he's an unbelievable um, asset to the group in terms of his his work ethic and his willingness to to run away from the ball as well as to to look after it when it comes into him is great. I think he'll get double figures at least. I would imagine more than that, to be honest with you. So from that point, we're not trouble figures, but <laughs> more than more than just ten. I think mm. he'll score goals for us. So he gets into the right places. Um, I think he's enjoying his football. He's been given a bit of freedom to do what he, he does well. Whereas before, he's probably been coming off the bench at Wrexham, replacing the really big signings and like do this job for this period of time, where mm. he's been a little bit stifled. So he's just again, I used the, the phrase earlier about walking, jogging, running. He's probably into the jogging a bit more than. The rest of the lads, I feel, and he's, he looks more mobile and, and sprightly than a, than a few. But um, he, as much as the other forwards, all will play a part. And I'm not bothered who scores today. We've had two midfielders score. Mm. So, again, um, I love it when it gets shared around. I don't, I don't care who scores the goals, it's just what we do. You mentioned, I think it was jogging and walking. can't remember which way. I just mm -hmm. walked slowly. Um, what do you expect Tuesday? First well, gear, second gear? Well, I expect this, we're going through the gears for me because... I mean, it's difficult. Last last week was on a, on a plastic pitch, and it, the ball was slow. It was a dry, hot day there, and the ball was slow. Here it was a little more slick. Um, I think Tuesday night will probably be even slicker because of the. Hopefully, it'll be starting dusk and get a bit of water on the pitch. So the faster the pitch, I think the better it is for us. Um, we want, you, you look, everybody knows the way we want to play. I think um, we've got to stop it. I think Mark Hughes was shouting, "Move it quicker." At one, well, there one you go. Two stages. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that he's he's only reiterating what I was probably yeah, spoke, yeah. shouting in his ear. Also, <laughs> yeah. At, at the end of the day, we we understand um, where our positive um, assets are, and it's in movement, pace, mobility. Uh, but ultimately, we need the quality to provide for them people in them areas. And at times today, it was excellent, and at times today, it wasn't good enough. But that's the level of the football that we're at. So from that point of view, again, we've had to work hard to break down a very, very workmanlike side in Blythe. Um, and I know they're going through it a little bit themselves, having lost the manager the other day. But I wish them best, all the best for the rest of the season. And like I said, I saved you, Neil.